More than 1,000 years ago, medieval armies fought savage battles for control of what is now known as Spain, including Moorish invaders from North Africa, Spanish kings and noblemen, and religious military orders. Medieval life, death, and history were trapped inside these stone walls. At the fortress of Zorita in central Spain, our teams of high school archaeologists uncover the history of one of Spain's least studied castles. At the Archeo Spain Field School, specifically designed for high school students, we will be teaching our teams all aspects of an archaeological dig. Our classroom is an area next to the castle's Christian chapel. Already we have found several burials, possibly belonging to the castle's knights. Students learn digging methodology, how to survey and map a site, and how to handle artifacts, even a stray cannonball. Here we are at Sorita Castle Field School. Here we will be teaching the kids how to become archaeologists. They will learn with us how to write down their own journals. Uh, they will be able to uh, prepare the whole excavation. They will have to survey, they will have to decide where to start digging, how to to make the drawings or to make difference between the different stratigraphic units. The castle sits atop a plateau overlooking the village of Zorita de los Canes. From its watchtowers, medieval armies could see for miles if any hostile army approached. Above or below ground, Zorita Castle's stone labyrinth of staircases and passageways are an invitation for exploration. Was this part of the original Moorish castle built in the 9th century, or a later addition by the Calatrava military order? The Archeo Spain crew will learn about castle architecture and its functions as we wind our way through the tunnels and around the castle walls. The Christian chapel, for example, dates to the Romanesque period between roughly the 11th and 12th centuries. Underneath the chapel lies a mysterious chamber that we still don't quite fully understand. The castle has gone through many changes over centuries, and it is our job to decipher what happened and when. But with each season of digging, we unearth more clues that fill in the blanks to the castle's history. The field school students will be on the front lines of this endeavor, receiving hands-on, step-by-step training in the science and art of archaeology. Hello, my name is Indian McDermott. I'm 16 years old and I live in France. We're here in the castle of Zorita in the Guadalajara region of Spain, which is near Madrid. We've been digging in two places so we've got trench one which is just behind me uh, that we only dug in that one for around five days but we found a, a really awesome skeleton which was really really fun to excavate first time I've actually seen a real live skeleton um, and now we're just working in trench two which is turning out to be a house with well a room with stairs and we've got another skeleton in one of the corners uh, we've found a lot of ceramic shards and just small fragments of bone, both human and animal. We've got a couple of pieces of, of um, glass and we've found two bronze coins. Hi, I'm Sydney Comstock. I'm 16 years old. I live in DC and here I'm working at Castillo Zarita. We are digging right next to the church. This castle was built by the Muslims and then the Christians took over. Uh, the Calatrava Order actually had its headquarters here in this church for a while. Uh, this weekend we actually went to a medieval fair uh, that was pretty exciting. We got to see one of the men who helped us uh, go caving in one of the wells of the castle. He was actually in one of the reenactments um, in taking the castle at the medieval fair. It was really exciting. Everybody got dressed up. Uh, one of my buddies got knighted by the Santiago order, not the Calatrava order, but that's okay, we'll forgive her. Um. We will be staying and eating at the rustic Zorita Inn just below the castle. In the afternoons, we will use the inn for our classroom sessions. How to keep an excavation diary, castle architecture, Spanish history, how to identify and restore medieval pottery, details of the human skeleton, archeological methods and stratigraphy, and how to measure and draw the artifacts we uncover, an important skill for any future archeologist. On the weekends, students will visit some fascinating historical sites in the region, including the Roman city of Segobriga, with its impressive amphitheater and theater, the town of Pastrana, which dates back to the 13th century, and the World Heritage City of Toledo, famous for its medieval churches, mosques, and synagogues. So whether we're enjoying a barbecue on the riverbank, or rappelling down into the castle well, 
the Archaeospain Field School at Thorita Castle will be a summer you will never forget.